welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. I am exhausted uh -huh. because I just played this game for a couple of hours and now I just feel worn out. Does anyone else have that? Welcome to the squad. Let's get down to it. We got an emergency. Do you feel like you are a victim of skill-based matchmaking? Do you feel tired? Do you feel like that Activision is cucking your wallets? Do you feel like that you are no noticing and witnessing a lot of e-girls strong independent style getting 10 kitties and you seem to not get any kills in Call of Duty? Well, welcome to the squad. Where have you been? We've been looking for you, man. We've been looking everywhere. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go for three likes on the video and let's get into it. Uh, like, it used to be back when I could play COD for like nine hours straight. Now I play Damn. for two hours, maybe three on a good day. And I'm like, holy shit, I need to go lie down. Yeah. These lobbies. Holy shit. Is I'm telling you what, man, like the last couple days, I've been playing a lot more than I usually do, right? Usually I try to focus. Man, listen, what I'm noticing is that seconds don't even have the stamina to last. Bruh. Right? Seconds are losing their stamina, and their stamina game is kind of weak, though. Like, I, I, even I'll, I gotta admit, like, back in the days, you could go hours and hours. Now it's like 30 minutes, and, mm -hmm. uh, like, you're kind of done. So, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it'd it be like that, man. It'd be like that. Gotta get your stamina game up, bud. But skill based mantra was be like, nah, son. I'm killing your stamina right then and there, though. In on videos, but we had Thanksgiving going on and all of that, but also double weapon XP. And I thought to myself, now is the time to get most of these bad guns out of the way. So mm. I've been working on marks and rifles. I already knocked out assault rifles and submachine guns. I did those in zombies, actually, because SMGs are so bad in multiplayer. Yeah. I don't even want to touch them. So I literally leveled them up in zombies. I did most of the light machine guns. The shotguns are almost done. Like I was really grinding weapon levels, but I cannot tell you guys how many times over the course of the past couple of days my matches ended. 200 to 199, oh, 75 wow. to 74, 100 to 99, freaking 250 to 249, or somewhere in that ballpark, right? Like, close matches like that used to be memorable. It used to be like, holy shit. Dude, you I have a simple solution to your problem. I hear you, man. Listen, man. Like, quick little therapy session here for the homies that are lost, for the brothers that are lost, for the chads, for all the good men that we lost to Call of Duty, to that, that strong independent pom pom that has been around the lounges here in Call of Duty, getting 10 KD. Uh, cheating around, cheating their way, using these uh, tools and modding tools, the, the hacks and whatnot. Guys, listen, quick little solution, don't buy the game, bro. Just don't buy the game and all your problems will be solved. Whoa! Simple as that! Simple as that! Quick little antidote to skill best match, freaking. Quick little antidote like that. You believe that game came down to 200, 199? Like, dude, that happens like five times a day now. It's not even <laughs> interesting anymore. It's just like, God, like one of these again? And then you have to like go through and really try to get your ACS on the objective because you know your teammates aren't going to help. And dude, it is exhausting. It straight mm. up is. And skill based matchmaking is really starting to take its yeah. toll on this. Talk, talk to us, brother. Talk to us. We, we get it, brother. You've been lost, brother. We get it. You have been done absolutely dirty, though. Skill based matchmaking is literally a cock tease though bruh like it will be like okay yeah yeah you had a bad game come here okay and now we can give you good games you're gonna have like two good games and ten bad games it's gonna be like that it's gonna be suck your fun dry though it's uh it's simple as that it's like the the what, what what's the name can i no nah, i cannot say that on youtube though my bad guys my bad this game like as the honeymoon phase of modern warfare 3 goes away i know some people are just now getting the game because of black friday maybe people are waiting for christmas but a lot of you guys already got the game around launch it's been out for just over two weeks now now that we're getting out of the honeymoon phase and we're starting to really see the game for what it is i do still enjoy the core gameplay yeah. of modern warfare 3. <laughs> Boom, yeah, this, is a, this is a call of duty player in a nutshell man i still enjoy complaints okay there are a hundred complaints i hate the game i don't like this this sucks but still i love the game i like the game i mean brad come on man Come on, bruh, but even I like the game though, let's be real. Bruh. Uh, but, but, but I have not purchased the game though. Modern Warfare 3 is the first game that I did not buy. First game. I'm gonna wait till like January, February, uh, and see if the game is good by that. Then, if it is, then I might maybe cop it if it's like 30 bucks or something. If not, then hey, we're gonna have another Call of Duty in the year 2024 though. It has already been leaked. Black Ops 6, you need to wake up, y'all need to wake up. Black Ops 6 has been leaked. Stop the cap. No cap. Another Call of Duty game has been leaked out, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Black Ops 6. Suckers are saying it's going to be called Black Ops Gulf War. Uh, and suckers are saying that it's going to do like pre-order bonuses where you will be able to play the, the zombies weeks in advance. 
weeks in advance. It's 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 crazy though. Weeks in advance, they said. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Black Black of Sheik. Yeah, that game is gonna save Call of Duty. Yeah, I promise it's gonna save Call of Duty. I swear it's gonna save Call of Duty. Something that we hear every single year, bruh. That, shout out to the homie Fury Floor subscribe. <laughs> Welcome on in, man. Welcome on in. Let me send you some kisses. Thank you for subscribing, brother. Love you, homie. But it doesn't allow me to most of the time because okay. of skill based matchmaking and not to mention packet burst. Holy shit, packet burst. Like I've had so many times today where I'm leveling up that uh, that MCW marksman rifle with semi automatic and then the entire match. It's pure packet burst where my semi automatic rifle when I'm shooting at somebody, it seems like my bullets don't even hit. And then other times it seems like my gun is full auto because it's like so desynced with the servers. It's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Not only is the game. These are literally the same complaints we've been hearing for years, bro. Oh my god, yo. Hands up in the air right now, okay? T uh, drop this emoji, okay? So I know you have your hands up right now, okay? Take your. Guys, come on, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy. You're alone. You can look left behind. Yeah, there's nobody around you, okay? If there's nobody around you, and even if there's somebody around you, raise your hand up. If you have been hearing the same complaints for years, damn it, I've been hearing the same complaints for years. Every single year. Every single year. And this year is kind of feel different because I did not buy the game and um, I'm listening to the complaints and I'm like, I feel like the, the, the therapist right now because I'm like, ooh, let's hear some complaints. Let's hear, let me hear this, right? Because... I'm, I, I'm trying to solve six problems right now. That's how it kind of feels like right now, though. This, a simple solution, guys. I know it's going to be crazy. It's going to sound crazy. Don't buy the game, though. Don't buy the game. <laughs> You're trying to Don't screw you with skill-based matchmaking, but then the game is so unoptimized, the packet burst happens to so many people across all platforms. I just want to chill out when I play COD. Remember when COD used to be relaxing? Like, yeah, I'm not saying I, I want to beat up on scrubs all day. Never. And that's always what people say. Like, oh, you just want to beat up on terrible players all the time. You know, like, who cares if you have to actually play people of an equal skill level? I mean, terrible people are the ones saying that you uh, you want no skill-based matchmaking because you want to beat up terrible players. Nah, bro, it's not like that it's about the algorithm bro suckers hate algorithms suckers hate algorithms simple as that though we hate the algorithms and the algorithms has gotten way too out of hand though it, it knows the size of your dung simply by you playing five matches it knows if your girl is preg or not simply by you playing five matches you don't even know if you done easter eggs the game knows if you uh if your girl is prego and she do, she probably don't even know the game is gonna find out it, it will basically know your entire dna your entire bloodline history like are you a dork are you a nod are you capable enough to continue your bloodline simple as that it will, it will know the entire history bruh it the 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 but on a real joke side memes aside though skill based match again is really designed there is not just skill based matchmaking anymore there's like umm there's also uh, an algorithm that actually if you're playing too good in the game it will make sure it's go it's gonna it's not gonna be too like sharp of a turn but it's gonna be just changing your stats live dead ass in game where for example it would take five bullets to kill an enemy now it will take six you you feel what i'm saying all of a sudden it will take six right sometimes you feel like you're just putting all the bullets in and the guy just don't die he just turns around uh, two sh uh, two shot you and you had guess guess what you had a hundred health he two shots you meanwhile you put in five bullets in that tr mother trigger and the second didn't die right that twat didn't die that's exactly what it is. Okay, once, twice, yeah, understandable. Maybe a bug, maybe a glitch, maybe your aim was trash that time, right? But it happens multiple times. Why is that? Simple as that. It's the, the, the algorithm. I should say simple as that. Now. I'm saying simple as that a lot more. Special like button if simple as that, okay? Well, that's not my issue. It really isn't. If I wanted to just beat up on scrubs all day, I'd reverse boost like everybody else, like every gameplay channel and TikToker out there, yeah, dude. Like, yeah, true, I'm on true. Twitter. I get a lot of my information from Twitter. It's like the one social media platform I even use, right? So, you know, I'm on Twitter and I see these gameplay clips, right? There's this one guy and naming names seems rude or whatever, but yeah. you guys have probably heard yeah. of this stuff. Narrow cinema! <laughs> There's this one dude who got like a nuke only using knives and the throwing star like he's freaking Genji from Overwatch. You watch his footage, you're like, dude, nobody in your lobby even shot back at you. They yeah. didn't try to slide, they didn't shoot at you. Like, wh wh what? how does that even happen? How did every game I get into, it's like a game of Dom 200 to 199. Meanwhile, your opponents don't even shoot back. Like, what's happening? Man, I don't even know, like, if skill based matchmaking is working anymore or not. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I, I would like to.
I would like to ask this question, right? Like, Activision, listen, man. Try removing skill-based matchmaking once. Yeah. I know, crazy idea. Crazy idea. Just think about this for a second, right? You have 10 people. I know there's more than that, but example, okay? 10 people playing your game. Skill-based matchmaking, I get it. You have it because you want those people to play for long. And if they play for long, they're going to be going in the microtransaction shop, the Satan shop, right? And they're going to buy the the, the sa satanic items, the, the, the camels. And yeah, let's call them that. Okay, let's call them that. Bruh. They're going to be buying those $20 bundles, those $20 skins, including that... Yo, where's that? Where's that? Yeah. I get it, you want those seconds to buy that friendly UAV online. But think about this way, right? Eight of the other people, they are not liking how the game is going though, okay? It, two people are loving it, they're going in the shop, they're buying the candy, they're buying the sata satanic items, they're getting the camels, they're getting busy, they're getting their dopamine shots, right? But what if you remove the skill-based mastering, right? There will be more people playing your game right more of those people and if more people play the game for example right 20 let's make it 20 right now let's double the, the, the count here okay instead of 10 people 20 people are playing your game when 10 people were playing two people were going in the shop so if if we go with this logic then there will be four people going in your shop you will have more people going in the shop you just gotta make sure your player count is big because the bigger the player count the more the people will be in the shop and the reason i'm bringing this all uh, this uh, conversation this point up or having this conversation is because we have seen the player count plummet they have included modern warfare 2023 modern warfare 2022 and even call of duty warzone not the latest one not the new map that's about to come in december that's obviously gonna shoot up the player count that's gonna happen but will it last debatable we're gonna find out soon but with three games one of them being for free including dmz in modern warfare 2022 which is free as well so let's make it four they had a hundred thousand people playing at one time on steam that is a good number for a lot of games out there and it's a very modest number let's be real but for call of duty that is some of the lowest number ever because they were doing half a million without modern warfare 3 being and modern warfare 3 is a new game so without modern warfare 3 being in the list they were doing half a million when Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone came out, right? I'm talking about 2022 last year. Half a million players at one point, almost. It was 484k, uh, almost half a million, right? But with Modern Warfare 3, the brand new game, and the game literally just came out. And those suckers are doing what? 100k. That is absolutely the lowest player count. So I'm just saying, maybe it's time to remove skill-based mastery, and maybe it's time to make go a good content, though. And maybe play people are gonna uh, be on your game, and a lot if a lot more people are on your game, then a lot more will try to buy your your microtransactions. In here, there's this one dude who posts like a 14-man sniper kill feed. He's literally just standing there in the middle of the room, on uh, one of the two rooms on high rise, and just spawn killing all these guys who are not even trying to shoot back at them. I'm like, they're not playing the same game as me and that just it, it over time it kind of blows my mind i think i've gotten kind of lucky though like back in the day here on youtube i used to be kind of a gameplay guy nothing crazy yeah. like i was never as good as like dismo or marksman or those people but i was like above average right and i would also do these series wait but were you as good as the homie face swag who likes you we want to know this is an important uh topic back when back in like dog modern warfare 3 called moab monday there was moab friday dna saturday um chem strike saturday like all every game basically like that had a nuke in it people would submit their nukes to my channel and i would pick out the best ones and i would talk about the gameplay and i would promote their channels it was like this fun community thing that we got to do over time i had to stop doing that because every time i'd watch their footage i'm like I think these guys were reverse boosting. <laughs> you know, like back in Modern Warfare 3, yeah. it was a whole different oh thing. Back God. in, like, at the very beginning of Advanced Warfare, maybe, or something like that. Like, sure, that's one thing. Call of Duty Ghost. But as we continued on, and we started to, like, you know, see reverse boosting really become a thing, skill-based matchmaking became a big topic of discussion, it wasn't even fun for me to watch those videos anymore. Like, the, the ones that people would submit to me, I, I didn't want to watch them anymore. I'm like, oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things, right? Like, nowadays, the cheating has overtaken the game that we don't even know who's real, who's who's not real anymore we don't even trust the gameplay channels no more but i do believe that dismo is a good guy dismo yeah he mentioned i i know dismo um but i'm not sure if whether he cheats or not i don't watch gameplay channels that heavy uh maybe he does maybe he doesn't i don't oh, know shit. Oh, but shit. i seriously don't think he cheats 
maybe one day we're gonna see him on Call of Shame channel and oh, th there, <laughs> there we go, but no, nah, seriously, I don't think he cheats, but it's one of those things, right? Like, even if you're a good, good player, suckers have seen better players. What I mean by better players? Cheaters, right? But some suckers don't even care. They're like, hey, that guy's a 9KD player, that guy's a 9KD player. And somebody that's legit right now, that might be like 1.5 or 2KD, which is very, very good, especially in this day and age. It used to always be good if you were like 2KD player, but to be like the 1%, you need it to be 5KD, right? Maybe even more than 5 plus. Let's just be real. Like, I remember the OG Modern Warfare 3 days. If you were like 5KD, you were considered a Call of Duty god. And you would get all the bitches. You would get all the sons, you know what I mean? Bruh. You would get everybody. Everybody would consider you having like a big PP though. Even if you didn't. Uh, so that was the... These were the rules back in the days. But now, bro, like, you know, Nadia got 9KD. Sucker's got 11KD. I believe Breadman had 11KD. Uh, but, but we know these are cheaters, right? So if you are so Somebody that's playing legit and you have 1kd or 1.5 or 2kd especially in this day and age with skill based matchmaking and lobbies right if you have 2kd i would consider you are a very good player but sagas they don't care you got a 2kd you got a 2kd we don't care we've seen 9kd we've seen 11kd you know it's one of those things like man they ruin gaming man cheats ruin gaming and activision is doing jack about it though. got the spawn trap going on i oh, they're not even gonna shoot you back are they oh that's interesting crazy how like you have uavs up like 24 7 and the other team is walking in the walls like their left stick doesn't even work right anymore like it just every game kind of looked the same to me because people were reverse boosting right and it just and it stopped being fun and it stopped being interesting so why don't i reverse boost i'm like why well, just i don't want to reverse boost right I'm yeah, it's, a of, it's a waste of time like you you're like okay first of all i gotta do this i gotta do that some suckers actually you know join their their session their own session but on their alt account they gotta have like two consoles suckers have like ps4 Bruh. uh with like reverse boosted account so they would join section session and you on your ps5 uh, you would join their account, mm -hmm. right? And then you would get easy lobbies. The point is that they will try to join a host that's actually terrible at the game that has low stats, right? Yeah, there's like a... And obviously there are multiple different ways. Suckers have found like billions of ways to reverse boost, cheat, and have like cronies, this and that. Like... The, those tick tick ticks as well. Man, I I don't know, man. Game, it's not fun to do that. Like, uh, it's really not. If you want to just play, you want to play. You want to just hop on and just get a match or two, maybe five matches, ten matches. Simple as that, right? You don't want to be wasting your time like that. Don't want to cheat. I'm not gonna reverse boost, but I'm not also. I'm also getting like sick of skill based matchmaking, and at the end of the day, it just kind of makes me feel apathetic anymore. Like, I don't want to play against recruit bots. I don't want every match to feel like there's money on the line, especially when skill based matchmaking expands I'll your do, matchmaking I'll parameters do. to give you a terrible connection and make packet burst be a thing. Like, where do I win here? Like, <laughs> every now and then I have a good game. It's like, well, I guess. It, you know, wrong you cannot win anymore you know matchmaking kind of threw that to me but after a while of that when i when i got rid of like all those old series and i stopped taking fan submissions for videos and things like that i started covering more news i started covering more updates and my gameplay now you guys see my gameplay like i'm just trying to level up my damn guns and i try to win because that's kind of the whole point of the game even though the game is like act wrong you cannot win anymore actively trying to make you not win but typically you know i like to win i like to go for things like if you don't care whether or not you win or lose then you're really you really just don't care at all about a cod anymore right so yeah. i typically go to try that, to play that's been me recently because i recently started playing like black ops cold war i did not buy modern warfare 3 so i was like i need my color i need my call of duty fix and i started playing black ops cold war because we recently had leaks about black ops uh, 6 the black ops gulf war so i'm like yeah you know it's ain't like a career game like, let, let me get you let me get some call of duty fix and uh, i play like what five games and after that i'm done i have no stamina though but Nuketown 24-7 on Black Ops Cold War, it's still lit though, it's mad lit, and I, I did enjoy my time, and uh, I, I really don't care about the KD ratio no more, I really don't care about the win-loss no more, I'm just like using different guns, I was like rank 25, and right now I believe I'm ranked 30, Bruh. yeah, I barely played Black Ops Cold War when it first came out, I was only playing zombies, uh, you, you feel what I'm saying, so right now I'm kinda having fun, just, uh, yeah, knowing fully well that the game sucks, uh, th 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 as a franchise, franchise sucks. Skill based matchmaking sucks. Not the game sucks, but franchise uh, skill based matchmaking sucks. Let's, let's that 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 that's what I should say. 
uh yeah the objective i try to win i find that you get more kills when you play the objective anyway like that's what i do now like how i have fun is just grinding camos and stuff but again as much as i've been grinding weapon levels over the course of the past week holy hell i am just like, exhausted of modern warfare 3 because every game it straight up feels like work i know it sounds weird coming from a youtuber but like i don't understand how yeah, somebody yeah, no matter if you're a youtuber or not gaming shouldn't feel like work you play games to escape you play games to have fun you, you just want to kill time and be entertained and you just want to like we all got problems right we all have problems in life and you're playing to escape like you know what I mean like you're, you're tired you come home from school you come home from work you're tired right you don't want to be tired by playing the game simple as that but ladies and gentlemen these suckers were caught cheating though live dead ass and some of them were even arrested oh, shit. Oh, click shit. on this video on the screen this is a movie i swear to god check it out and i'll see you right there